Hey everybody, it's Caitlin with Glitter Chimp coming to you again from my craft room, which is a complete and total disaster, to bring you another video using our vinyl. Only this time we're going to be using clear vinyl. And we're going to be making a triple, a tri section tumbler again, but this time we're using clear vinyl. We're going to be using the candy cane clear as well as this awesome decal that I made, sweet but twisted. Um, so we're gonna be using this. I've already pre-cut the candy cane vinyl um, to fit the bottom of the tumbler. This is already made to fit on the top. And we're gonna be using a Ya Basic and Kringle. Now, the reason I chose these is because they are not ultra fine. They are not fine cut or coarse cut. These are chunkies and mixes. And this mix has jumbo cuts in it and everything. And I'm just gonna show it to you this way because then y'all can see that you can use the bigger cuts using Mod Podge, which I know a lot of you know, but for those of you who don't, we can do it a little different. So I have my already prepped white tumbler. It's very, very basic. And let me see, oh my gosh, where's all my stuff? All right, got my marker and my tape measure. All right, so like always, I always do the, the awesome measuring of the cup. So for this, I measured that out to three inches. So that gives me two inches here in the middle, three here, three here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put my line here, put another line here at five inches, which does give me about eight and a, an eight, bleh, eight and an eighth of an inch down here at the bottom, which I did cut my vinyl to that, which is 8.125. Yes, I had to Google that, um, which is fine. <laughs> we all know I'm not good at numbers. Um, so now we're going to just do that. I'm gonna flip the cup around a bit, measure this again so I have a secondary line to line all this stuff up on because I gotta tape everything off. I love those. Okay, so now we're done with the marker. We're done with the tape measure. We're not gonna be needing the vinyl until after we get epoxy on this tumbler, which is awesome. So next I am going to tape this. Um, I'm actually start with the red. So we're gonna tape outside of these two lines and do the middle first because this has the red in it. That way it doesn't get mixed into the white. If it does, it's not a big deal. It's candy cane, so it doesn't really matter. What am I, oh, I'm rolling on, <laughs> just rolling on some dried epoxy. All right, so I have blue painter's tape, nothing too fancy here. Now I'm just gonna go around the cup taping. Oh my goodness, really? There we go. As best I can to that line. And again, it does not have to be a thousand percent perfect because we will of course put two strips of vinyl to space this part out. That just helps basically give it a cleaner appearance. So we're gonna do that and then God, that's like all twisted now. <laughs> Next, all right. Just gonna make a big old mess, like always. It's already a disaster in here. Y'all have no idea how messy this room is, but that's fine. That's just how my ADD brain keeps me moving. Um, let's see, where's the, all right. So we have our two inch gap taped. Now we are done with the tape. Don't need you anymore. All right, so we're using Kringle. This is a white and red mix that clearly I have not used yet. And I'm gonna just do this because why not, right? So it's just a white and red. It is a very, it's a pearlescent white and then just a basic red chunky mix, or as we call them, mixologies. And I have, of course, my trusty and very 
awesome Mod Podge that I use. Oh my goodness. See what I did? I put the seal back in the lid. It's like I'm at work and I'm like, I've got to seal it. All right. So my stand over there. We're going to jump right into this now. Because we're using a thicker glitter, absolutely you need to base coat this with whatever color you're using. For this, we're using red and white, so I figured white is perfect as a base. And now I'm gonna go around the cup quickly. Not really having to worry about making my lines super pretty. That's why I put the tape on the cup. And honestly, guys, I'm kind of becoming obsessed with these three color or three block cups because <laughs> they're fun and they're fast. All right, so now we're just going to sprinkle, sprinkle. And if you want, you could just do probably one layer of glitter on this since the base coat is white. Um, let's do that. Let's just do one layer. I normally do two. I really do, like always. And I don't really know specifically why, other than it just gives you, especially if your base coat doesn't quite match the glitter. But because we're doing white, I don't think it'll matter. Ooh, decisions. Cause that's got some, I mean, it's pretty good coverage. Screw it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna just do one, one layer of glitter. Well, it makes me nervous. Oh, we're gonna try. Okay, so as y'all can see, I hope you guys can see this. The glitter's standing up on the sides some in, in some of the places. So all I do is I literally just take my finger and then go around and tap as much of it down as I can. And this is to help whenever um, you put the epoxy on that you have less to try to fix and sand. And I'm gonna just keep going. And you're just gonna gently tap. If you don't wanna have the glitter get stuck to you with the Mod Pot, because sometimes it will, you can put on a glove. But anyways, as you work your way around, you'll start to see everything laying flat. And then of course, after it does dry, I always go over it with a brush a dry, just a plain dry brush and kind of like dust off any excess, which is probably why this is making me nervous now, but only doing one layer. But guess what? I don't care. We're gonna run with it. We're gonna do it. All right. So now you can see everything's pretty much laying down flat. All right. Yeah, it's making me nervous. All right, so now I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes and then we'll come right back and do the white here and here, and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is dry. Now I get to peel off this, and to say I'm not nervous is an understatement, because again, I usually do two layers. Oh my goodness, it's going everywhere. Okay, that's step one. Next. All right, Woo. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take my fancy brush. So this is just, again, it's just a dry brush. I'm gonna brush this off. And this just gets off any extra that's not quite stuck to the tumbler. Dust off over here. All right, so on here, there's gonna be a few pieces that are sticking out past where I really want them to. Not a big deal. You can just pull them off. Really? Really? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> you can pull them off or whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna cover this all up with um, vinyl on the edges anyways, like I do on the other cups. But I'm gonna dump this in the trash. All right, so now we're gonna do the next part, which is ya basic. I guess I can't just stand that up. All right, I've already opened this because I used it the other day, but the seal's still there. What the heck? I'm on a roll. I, force of you know habit is that I put the stupid seals back in the jars. All right, you can tell I'm very well trained at work. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do your basic here and here. And this is your basic, it's in a chunky cut. So it'll be just like this. Gonna just go out of town here. Gonna go right up to that line, spread it out. Rose glue. Okay. <laughs> All right, keep going around. I like just need just a little. So now I've got that all around there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom. I think I put too much on, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> As I say, never perfect. All right, set my brush down. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and <clears throat> just pour that out as fast as possible. bottom. See, I can already see some places. I'm going to have to touch up. Oh, let's get that out there for a minute. All right, so the bottom is done. I'm going to put you back on the stick. All right, there we go. Okay. So like I said, I have a couple spots here I have to touch up where there's no glitter. So I got that one. Oh, there's another little spot. This is why I do two layers. But again, this is gonna get covered up with vinyl. So I'm not super concerned. And plus at this point now I'm just playing around because it's going to be that one layer. This is such a pretty color. So um, your basic has a pearl finish to it, especially in the chunkier cuts. When it's in the ultra fine cuts and stuff, it ends up being kind of more matte, but it'll give you a nice, cool, almost snowball kind of effect, which is really cool underneath the vinyl. Come on, now I got red in here. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do this part same way. That was a lot of Mod Podge. That was a lot. <laughs> Holy crap. But that's okay. The more Mod Podge, the better it'll stick. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle that.
<laughs> looks fuzzy. All right, so now that I've done that, set that over here for just a quick second. Pull this back. All right, now, same thing as I did to Kringle. I'm going to take my finger now and kind of just tap this down. I see a spot that's naked. This is gonna look so cool. So what the plan is, is that this will sit up here. This will sit around here. So right now we're just going to let this dry and then we'll come, when I come back, I will have put a layer of epoxy on this and then I'll show you guys how to do the vinyl and the final touches. So we will be back in a few minutes or well, to you guys in a second, to me in like an hour. <laughs> so we'll be right back. All right, everybody, we have the tumbler all nice and epoxied. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go with the next steps, which is to place the candy cane vinyl on the bottom. We will be doing the sweet but twisted on the top. And then as a little accent piece, I have black vinyl to put uh, on the top and the bottom of the red and white stripe. The reason I chose black is because again, this is not, it's got the sweet but twisted and it has the black, kind of thought it all tie it together. So in order to do this, what I do first is this is clear vinyl. I always fold back a piece of the, the backing to give it kind of a tail. And the reason I do that is so then I can find a good starting place on the cup for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, ugh. if you hear all that noise, it's just Olivia. She's in here <laughs> crafting away. Say hi, Olivia. Hi. All right, so I'm just gonna place this as straight as I can. Now I cut this so that it doesn't completely go over the edge here. And that's just because it's kind of hard to get that to wrap perfectly around the bottom edge. You can do it that way. I've done it before. Um, it's just kind of makes it so it's nice and smooth. So anyway, so I'm just gonna do that like this. And now I'm gonna go around the cup slowly to make sure I don't get any air bubbles. If you get air bubbles, no worries, we can fix that. Um, I already have one right here that I'll have to fix. Uh, but I use a popsicle stick or you can use a paintbrush, whatever you want. You can even use your PVC pipes to roll the vinyl out. And again, this is just how I do this. You can, if you have a better method, you can please comment below and tell me how you do it. But this is just how I do it. And Work my way around, all the way around the tumbler. And then once I get kind of the last inch, I'll go ahead and take this piece here off, continue to wrap it around. And now I've got my, so my seam is in the back and have it nice and, sh and wrapped. OMG. Okay, y'all know me, I love red. Oh, Olivia made a cupcake. How nice. We'll show it in a minute. All right, so have this in the back. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but there's an air bubble right here with the vinyl. It's not a huge deal, but here is what I do if I have air bubbles. I take my little, my weeding tool here, and I literally will just stick a, make a little hole, and then rub the air out. And you can do this also with the solid color, like the solid white vinyl to pop any little air holes that you can see. If you miss any, it's okay. But I'm just gonna go through, see if I did miss any more. I thought I saw one. Where'd it go? Right here, okay. So anyways, just pop the hole. You won't even see it <laughs> once it's epoxied. I'm making sure I don't see any more. 
that one. There's one right here. All right, that's flat now. There's one more. All right, so I've popped, yep, all the holes, all the air bubble. There's one right here. Oh, goodness. Okay. Pop a hole, flatten it out. And at least it's easy to get the air bubbles out of the vinyl if you have any that show up. All right, so now I have that all out. So now what I'm gonna do is I have, okay, this is the back side of the cup, so I'm literally going to flip it like that. So this is the top of the cup. And now we're going to do the decal here. Now you can put transfer tape on top of this so it's easier for you to lay it down. Um, I am not gonna do that. I may do that though, because this is a big, big piece here. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just gonna do it the way I did the other vinyl. So I'm gonna do the same thing, peel a tail. <laughs> peel a tail, that's silly. All right, so I peel the tail down, line up where I want this to go, and then stick, stick my vinyl piece down, and same thing. Oh, this tumbler makes me super happy. All right, so I have my two trash pieces there. Got my sweet but twisted. Next up, I'm gonna add the vinyl striping to here, which I start at the back where my seam is. And now I'm just gonna do the same. As I do with all these cups is just go ahead and run the line around. Around and around and around we go. Where we'll stop? Well, it's the back of the cup. <laughs> so gonna keep going around. And the goal is to line up your stripes to the best of your abilities. Woo. One more. Start my stripe at the same spot. If I can get to the edge. And go around. Gracious, Caitlin. <laughs> there we go. Okay. This is the most nerve wracking thing that I do. And there it is. Sweet but twisted. And now the next thing I'm going to do, of course, is to go over this with another coat of epoxy. But otherwise, this tumbler is finished. So, um, yeah, I mean, next it just needs the epoxy and it will be con completely finished. You can put a name down here at the bottom, put a name on the back over here. You can put a name right here in the middle, either way. Otherwise, this tumbler is done. And I'm going to just have to go over it with another coat of epoxy, maybe do a little light sanding after I epoxy it. Um, but that's, we'll see. Uh, it may need another coat. We'll see. Cause this is another, like I said, this is chunky. So I'm going to have to go over the uh, top here to kind of clean up this edge. However, if I can find, I don't know where my, where my knife is. See, I can use my exacto knife and go around and clean this up first before I put epoxy on it. But I don't know where my knife went. So that's okay. I'll just do that off camera. But anyway, so this tumbler is done. All it needs is that final coat of epoxy and that's it. So, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is, I'm considering it done. Um, so if you guys liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up for a like and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you never miss any of our videos. Also, 
All of the links for all of these items are going to be in the description below. Um, so you can find the vinyl, find the glitter, and every even the black vinyl here. Um, but everything is there ready to go. So if you guys have any questions or comments, want to see something new, comment below, let me know, and we'll get a video made. Otherwise, we will see you guys again very, very soon. And Olivia would like for me to show you guys her cupcake before I go. So come over here. I have a couple of cupcakes. So she just made these cupcakes. They're still wet. But it's got, it's just a styrofoam ball and a cupcake holder, right? Mm -hmm. With some glitter and some of our fake sprinkles. Mm -hmm. And paint. Yeah, and a bit of glue. And a bit of glue for the drizzle. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So maybe we can do a video on how to make those soon. All right, so you guys, whoop, oh geez. Mm, Have a great right. rest of your day, and we will see you guys again soon. Bye, everybody.